guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise High Ticket Drop Shipping YouTube channel. And I wanted to do a video today about the top 10 best niches in the kitchen. This is a first video of a series I'm going to be doing on the top 10 best niches and broader niches. So basically, um, here's an example you can look at for a website with lots of different product categories on it, a lot of which are high ticket. Um, House.com, and a lot of the products are in the home. So here they list all different types of niches and product categories and things like that. Um, I'm on their website right now at house.com slash products and I'm going to dive into kitchen. In the other videos I'll have bathroom ones, bedroom ones, living room, lighting, uh, different types of furniture, home decor, home improvement, outdoor products, so on and so forth. They have a lot of different categories on their website and um, I've drilled down and researched a lot of them. In fact, you can find out what some of my top recommendations are in my free niches list. If you click the link below this video, you'll be directed to a sign-up page where you can get my free mini course on high-ticket dropshipping as well as a list of the 99 most profitable high-ticket dropshipping niches. So go check that out. Let's go ahead and get into the kitchen niches. This is kind of an example of what you can do in your brainstorming as well. Um, I'm using tool two tools here. I'm going to use House, and I'm also going to use Google Shopping. So if you um, don't know about Google Shopping, it's just google.com slash shopping. And what I'm going to do is pull the first um, category here. And I'm not going to pull the main one, kitchen and dining furniture. I'm going to pull the actual product category within that. So bar stools and counter stools. So just copy it, paste it into Google Shopping. And what it's going to show me on the left-hand side is kind of an average price point. So they have products from maybe about 60 bucks um, up to like maybe over $200. I'm not sure how high it goes. Um, but usually what we can do is sort by price, high to low. And this will give us an idea of what the highest, most expensive versions of those products are. Now we know the most expensive versions of bar stools on uh, Google Shopping, which is where we would be advertising um, if we were doing this niche, is somewhere in the $2,000 range. So there's only about maybe 20 total, uh, maybe less. So most of the products are that are high ticket are somewhere in the maybe like 200 to like $800 range, I would say. Like a lot of these are like $600 and stuff, um, which is perfectly fine. So um, I would definitely mark that as a good niche to go into, but there's going to be uh, a lot of variations. There's going to be a lot of different brands. Um, so, but I know other stores are actually doing this very, very well. So it's definitely a great niche. So let's go check out another one. Uh, let's try dining chairs. Okay, I'm going to sort by price high to low, and again, you'll see sort of a similar thing here with chairs as stools. Um, the average price point maybe is around $400 to $600, right? So another niche where, yeah, you can definitely um, sell these products online. It's not the highest price point, but I'm sure people buy a lot of them, so it's not a bad idea. Um, one that might be a little bit more expensive is dining tables. Let's check that out. And here we are. So we have quite a higher price point here. It's around $2,000, maybe $1,500 for the average. So definitely a dining table would be a good one. All right, and then kitchen sinks. Great, yeah. High average price point, lots of different types as well. Got these really wide basin sinks double basin sinks, metal, porcelain. So yeah, definitely a great niche there. Kitchen faucets might be a little bit lower ticket, a little bit less expensive depending, but we'll find out. So there's some ex very expensive types, but not too many of them. Most of them are in that like $500 range, it looks like. So one that's gonna be a little bit less expensive, but it's going to be a great package sale along with the sink. And the pot filler is just another type of, um, of faucet, again, in that kind of like mid $100 to $300 range is kind of that average, maybe a little bit more. All right, so all those so far are great niches you can go into. You can put those into a broader kind of a home store if you want to, or build a, like a store just around um, the dining room or just around like um, kitchen sinks and faucets and stuff like that. Let's look at a couple niches that I'm not quite sure about. Mosaic tile. Now mosaic tile sounds like to me like each one is probably going to be a very low cost product and you can probably buy big boxes of this stuff. Yeah, so like here it is. 
five thousand dollars two thousand dollars for a big box but then you got these <clears throat> um, three hundred and fifty dollar packages um, eleven sheets so it might be something worth looking into uh, but not quite sure on that one it's kind of one of those weird ones so I'm gonna skip past Tom and say tile don't worry about it cabinet drawers drawer pulls definitely a smaller item just by looking at it I know it's gonna be not that expensive so I'm not gonna worry about it major kitchen appliances now these are great beer and wine refrigerators definitely something that's a little bit higher ticket and goes in a home that's going to be like a really rich person's home. So yeah, you got $5,000, $4,000, $3,000, $2,000. So definitely great niches to get into, either uh, wine, beer, draft coolers, wine coolers. That's kind of cool. So that's good. All right, let's see about cooktops. Cooktops sounds like a little bit lower ticket, something that um, is going to be attached to something else. But let's see. There's definitely some higher ones. Uh, Two thousand, five thousand dollars, and stuff like that. But I'm a little bit worried about brand recognition here. So you got Kenmore, KitchenAid, Viking, Bosch, big brand names, right? So it might be kind of tough to get those brands to drop ship for us. So I'd be weary of that. Dishwasher, another one of those niches where, yeah, it's an expensive appliance, but think about it. You got Whirlpool, Bosch. You got all these really high Frigidaire, really big brand names. I, ha I highly doubt these really big brands are gonna drop ship for a little e-commerce store. They're probably just gonna want to sell through big. Um, physical retail locations like Sears and stuff like that, talking Target, Walmart, whatever. All right, so let's check this out. All right, I'm going to look at a few more categories here. Uh, I'll just go over them because I know these are actually categories that a lot of people have questions about. A lot of people want to sell blenders online, and I told them usually it doesn't work because you have two um, big brands that are selling them. So show you what I'm talking about here. You got the Vitamix, which is the only really like high ticket one. And these are the ones that are sort of like copies of Wearing Commercial, Lentech, Hamilton Beach, um, Vitamix, Lentech. So yeah, most of the stuff is going to be so, like these brands are so big that there's just no way you're going to be able to get an account with them unless you have a retail store. All right, so bread machines is the next one I was thinking about looking at. And it's pretty low ticket, so I would definitely say no on that one. Coffee and tea makers. Now, I know um, for sure that espresso machines are um, good niche to dropship. The, uh, the companies, though, that, that dropship <clears throat> domestically in the U.S. are distributors because most of the brands are in Italy, so you're going to deal with lower profit margins because of that. But here's the example of that. So you have these big coffee machines, coffee makers, espresso machines that are in the thousands of dollars. Not a bad niche to go. All right, Kitchen Islands. I know people that have stores that sell these, and I have a store that sells these as well. Definitely profitable. Um, it is furniture, though, so. A lot of different nuances with furniture categories. All right, that's about it for the kitchen, guys. Um, all that, you know, most of the suppliers that you might pick up in a store that has like a kitchen store um, vibe to it, a uh, theme to it, will have other categories. So like if you pick up a supplier that makes dining tables, they might also make dining chairs and bar stools and kitchen sinks and other stuff like that, lighting. So um, the cool thing about building out a high ticket dropshipping store in any wider niche is that one supplier will have multiple categories. And so every supplier you get kind of add those new categories to your store and you can scale wider that way. And of course, every single category you get in your store, you should definitely go deep as possible in optimization and search engine optimization, conversion optimization, and all your marketing. Um, so make sure you're doing that, but uh, lots of different niches and product categories to explore in the kitchen here. So you could definitely do a kitchen specific store and do pretty well there. Um, you might even consider doing themed stores around a particular appliance category, like a, um, you could do like a, uh, a wine cooler store specifically, or you could do a store specifically for kitchen sinks, that kind of stuff. Um, but my general advice is to start with a name, a brand name that is um, maybe a little bit broader, and then start with one category and then go from there. And go deep, 
first before you go wide. That's usually what I do on my stores. So that information, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in getting my free high-ticket dropshipping mini course as well as my free niches list, go check out ecommerceparadise.com slash free course. And the link is in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. Oh,